Burada bizim videolar var. Şunu izleyelim mi isterseniz? SWAT Akademi denemiş. Sonuçta işte adam hapse gidiyor ya. Bunu hep bana izle demiştiniz. Ben izlememiştim. Türkçe'ye geçelim abi burada. Bakalım. Hoşumuza giderse devam ederiz. Evet. Challenge accepted. I am going to SWAT Academy. We'll be breaching doors, propelling through windows, all leading up to a high stakes final challenge where I will be going on a mock mission with a... SWAT Akademi'ye gittim. Diyor. Tabii kimin SWAT'ı bilmiyorum yani. Bu Amerika'da binlerce değişik SWAT takımları var. Her departmanın SWAT'ları farklı. Onların standartları farklı. Bazıları o kadar dandik. <gülüyor> Bazıları çok güzel. Real life SWAT team. Challenge accepted. The first thing that we're going to put Michelle in is our physical fitness course. Can you climb a fence? Can you low crawl? Can you complete these different obstacles? Because in real life, wearing a lot of heavy equipment, we might ask you to do all that. In order to pass, I need to sprint a quarter mile in under 85 seconds, do 30 sit-ups in a minute, 20 push-ups in a minute, six pull-ups, and then complete the obstacle course in under four minutes. All back to back to back. This is the easy part. Girl. Just a sprint. <laughs> Just a sprint. All right, Michelle, stand by. Three, two, one, go. Seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven. Oh. Seventy-seven seconds. Oh. Good job. You made it. Barely. After passing the quarter-mile sprint, I then proceeded to pass the sit-ups. You're done. Forty-five. Okay. Pass the push-ups. One. You're done. Thirty-four. But then I Fizik failed this, the uh, fit crawlları var onlara. Three reps. Şey it's challenging, especially doing everything back to back. I'm just frustrated because I trained for like four months to get 10 pull-ups for the Navy SEAL test. Right. It's just frustrating how quickly the strength goes away when you're not working on it actively. But even though I failed the pull-ups, they still let me try the final event, the obstacle course. The obstacle course needs to be ran in four minutes and under. So the required equipment, as you already have on, long pants, shoes, gloves, and you have body armor. Uh, you. So there are a lot of different obstacles throughout Come this. On. Which one is the most difficult? I would say the dummy drag is probably the hardest for the folks carrying about 180 pounds. Your legs feel like jello. Okay, hold on. Three, two, one, go. Good job, Michelle. Control your breathing. Come on. Use those arms. Up that leg. Come on. Hold that leg. Let's there go. You go. Nice. Get your body nice and low. Good. Nice. Nice. Good technique. You're almost there. There you go. Okay, you're coming up to the window now. Get through. Tuck and roll. Come on, girl. There you go. There you go. Uh, you got this. Use your hips. I did. Ben San Diego'da bu obstacle course'tan geçtim arkadaşlar. 2016 yılıydı. Hayır 2016'da değildi ya. Evet evet 2016'ydı. Evet 2016'da ben buradan geçtim. San Diego polis departmanından bana teklif vardı. Ee, ama eyalet polisini seçmiştim o zaman. Now you got a fence. When you go over this fence, I want you to control your descent on the way down. There you go. Nice. Nice drop. Drop and go. Drop and go. Come on. So obviously I have not passed. The entrance qualifications Geçemedi. for being a part of SDPD SWAT. Unfortunately, you have not. Doing it with the vest is so much harder. 
That was impressive. Well done. Thank you. Abi bu ne ki SWAT o, takımına mesela benim benim şahsen e, çalıştığım departmanlardan bahsedeyim. Bu yani en kolay şeylerinden bir tanesi. Bu sadece şey yani minimum böyle standart e, böyle bir obstacle course var. İşte bir atış var onları geçiyorsun. Bu ne ki bunlar sadece böyle evraklarla evraklar için geçerli. Bu çok yani burada zorlanıyorsan çık git eve yani. Çünkü bunu geçtikten sonra 24 saat oradasın. Her türlü işkence yapıyorlar. Yani benim çalıştığım departmanlar öyleydi. The term SWAT stands for Special Weapons and Tactics. Entry training is one of the most integral things that we do. It really relies on teamwork. It's it's tough. The training is tough. We're going to talk about working in a team environment carrying a firearm. It starts with ready positions, buttstock in the pocket of the shoulder. If I make the decision to fire, I will snap up, safety off, and then I can depress the trigger and take the shots necessary to end that threat. Generally, it's it's either going to be a low ready position or the high ready position. And this is where it's... That's uh, the one you see on TV shows. It's, it's the hip slick and groovy thing, yeah. What if I were standing in front of you on an entry team? Would that be an appropriate position for you to be in at that no. moment? Yeah, probably want to come completely to high port. High port? High port, yep. It's like a fine wine. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> right here in my beautiful illustration of a room is this is going to be our doorway. So we're going to like to do what we call a cross stack. One operator here and one operator here. How we're going to decide who one and two is, there's going to be a little bit of body language involved. As I'm walking up, you see his body language? He's saying, I have a I'm problem. number one. Yeah, my body language, I'm, I'm coming supporting. up, I'm in support, and I'm looking right at him. Hey, what do you want me to do, pal? He wants me to open the door, he raises his muzzle and puts it right back down. That to me is saying, he's ready for me to open the door. Open the door normally, or like, <laughs> Just normal. Okay, no, oh, okay. Yeah. It's really embarrassing to breach an unlocked door. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big misconception about SWAT is that we're going to get to a yapılıyor bazen. Yapılıyor. Seeing if we're going to jump out of our truck and run right up to the door and kick it in and go Evet, bu biraz fully tackle so like right when we get there. But that's almost the exact opposite of what we do. We're going to get to a scene and we're going to do everything we can to try to slow things down, de-escalate, and try to negotiate and have them surrender peacefully. That's always the goal. And, and to be honest with you, that happens a majority of the time. I open the door, and then he is going to step into the room, going path of least resistance, and I get in right behind him. And then he is going to step into the room, going path of least resistance, and I get in right behind him. When you're coming into the room, we call this the hard corner. The hard corner? Yeah, you have to check this. There's no way that we're going to be able to see if somebody's standing right here. So that's why it's called the hard corner. The magic here, if you will, is going to be the placement of our feet. Ooh. And we're covering each other as fast as we can okay. through here. It's like your dancing partners. It's like a dance, but I want a different partner. You don't like dancing? Uh, good footwork. Move past it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we get in there, and then we're going to start scanning the room. Muzzle pointed, you can be looking right over the top of your sights because you want to be ready for something that needs to be addressed. There it is. Clear. Clear. You say clear? <laughs> cool. It technically clear. goes clear, <laughs> yeah, cool. all clear, yeah. last room. <laughs> we don't need to get into that. But that's cool. Okay, fine. Clear. All clear. Last room. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm one going through that door, and I go through, and there's a bad guy right here, I have to absolutely 110% trust that Sam is gonna get in there and take care of that bad guy if need be, or else you could die. There were a couple different instances that kind of, or tragedies, that kind of shaped how our team works. In 1984, there was the McDonald's massacre. A gunman just went into the restaurant and started shooting people that were eating lunch. He fired through windows, hitting people in the street. He fired at men, women, children, and babies. One officer said it looked like a mass execution. It just demonstrated the need for us to have a team that is trained in hostage rescue. The quality of officer hasn't changed, but the tactics and equipment have. We have our armored rescue vehicles. <laughs> First Marlon Chef, Hamasa, CSI Thai, Atata. Teşekkürler.
Gitar hissettin. Ay bicep pozu versene. Allah'ım ya. Teşekkürler. Silver Dumbled Or Neyse. Teşekkürler abonlar için. <gülüyor> Sağ olun. <gülüyor> Devam ediyoruz. Abi sırf görmeye için abone Ne zaman geliyorsun? Aa, İstanbul'da olacağım ya. 20-27 arası İstanbul. Our night vision goggle systems. We have robots that we can send in, and then, of course, we have our snipers. And there's another incident that kind of changed the rules on that for us as well. And that was Las Vegas a few years ago. The deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history right. at an outdoor country music festival on the Las Vegas Strip. When I was on the team, we never had Overwatch. Large-scale events are now possibly targets. Rock and Roll Marathon, Comic Con. We've had the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here, and so our SWAT team is key to making certain those events stay safe. Anything that is preventing a team or an officer from getting into an area or a structure, breaching may be required. What we have planned for you is manual breaching and then explosive breaching. For like hostage rescue, we would try to use explosive breaching. Because you want to get in there as quick, get as, quick as, possible. as possible. The biggest rule as far as breaching is always check the doorknob. It's always going to be faster to open up the door. It sounds funny, <laughs> but um, it, it, it's true, right? This is a door knocker. Weighs about 32 pounds. Woo! All right? So, <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> if you keep your eye on where you're going to attack, which is always going to be that deadbolt, you're going to come back through and just Woo! and hit it, OK? <laughs> so SWAT has arrived. <laughs> so we'll come up, we'll check the doorknob, and then go ahead and, OK, it's locked. Get your feet set. <laughs> All right. I there should try that again, I think. All right. <laughs> Do it like this. I'd set my feet, and then you're coming from the waist and hitting. Knock, knock. There you go. Can you imagine, like, you hear this noise, and it's me on the other side? Good morning. So what's next? I think you're going to need to go do the exciting stuff, doing the explosive breaching now. Oh, we're going straight from this to blowing oh, things up. Yep. OK. Things escalate quickly around yes, here. Yes, do. <laughs> now we're going to place an explosive charge on the door, right. which would theoretically provide us an instantaneous opening into the structure. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is some, like, Looney Tunes, pump the box, <laughs> blow it up. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Stand by for breach! In five, four, three, two... Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Everybody good in here? Yeah. All right. And cut it. Scenario over. That was full on wild ye coyote. We literally had a wire with a button. Blow it up. How does it feel to push the button? You're going to find out in a second. I'm going to be wild ye coyote? Yeah. Oh, yep. Yes. Just get in the habit of tucking your head. That way, if there is any overpressure, as you initiate the charge, it bleeds over the top of your helmet. Okay. Rotate the cam safety up so you're seeing red. And then this is the trigger right here. That's when you get button. to one, that's when you press the button. Stand by for breach in five, four, three. Mavi şarjör şey arkadaşlar, onlar yani plastik mermi atan şeyler. Gerçek değil. Yani eğitim silahları onlar. Two. And then fall in with them. Positive breach. Oh my gosh, it felt so epic. Yeah. Pushing a button like Wiley e. Coyote. Bam! It's way cooler oh my than gosh. Wiley e. Coyote. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. way cooler than Wiley. Yeah, yeah, yeah way, way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of the things we're going to have Michelle do this oh, week repelling. is repelling. A little birdie told me that Michelle might have a little bit of fear of heights, so this is going to be interesting. What we set up here is a scenario where we have a window about 40 feet up, and then we have another one about 20 feet off the ground below us. We're going to get comfortable bounding into that window. So this is fully safe? Yeah. Yeah, we do it all the time. OK. <laughs> one of the reasons why we do this, it has real world applications. We've had some missions where we've had to put officers in a repel position to close off avenues of escape, but also goes back to that trust. Not only trusting in your teammates, but also trusting in your equipment. Keep hold of the windowsill, very good. And this kind of reverse pull up right into your brake. Good, you've got your brake strand, and you're not going anywhere until you decide that you want to start moving. Release it a little bit, 
and you can get an idea of how you control the friction. Very good. Good. This is kind of fun, actually. Good. Woo, window, what do we do? That's okay. Just go ahead and repel right past it. Good. Nice work. Remember, if there's tension in that hand, tension in your body, it's going to put tension on the line. Good, there you go. Oh my god. That was really good. I didn't look down once. Now we'll just work on your comfort with that level of friction and your brake hand. Cooler. Controlling that brake hand and you'll start <laughs> to go a little bit faster and we'll work into it. Okay, now we get to have fun. All right, let's do it. <laughs> now we can get our feet on the wall a little bit more, what we call ailing out a little bit. Ah. You're going to end up going a little bit faster. Ah. Nice. <laughs> you got it. Keep going. Good. Very nice. For our next one, we're going to try to bound past the window. You're just going to push a little bit, release, down to the bottom of the window. Big little bound. Feet. Big bound. Nice. Nice. Good job. Now we're going to work on trying to bound into a window. Okay. How do you land? Like Spider-Man? No. <laughs> you can watch me. Oh my god. You got it. Ready? One, two. Three. There you go. <laughs> I can do better. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, I braked as I landed in the window. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Step out in it, there, y'all. Hey. All right. <laughs> yes. You nailed it. A former employee that was recently fired Rahina. took his boss hostage at this Sorry. local establishment. The suspect was reportedly armed with a pistol and a rifle. The suspect gave a one minute countdown before he would execute the hostage. So you and your one or two have arrived at this door and you are about to make entry. Do you have any questions? So there will be people in there who may be firing back at us? Yeah, there will be live role players in there and they will be able to shoot. Building scenario up here, Shonda. Rehina olayı. Oh, çok keşke. Stress is starting to take Hands over, which bottled you up getting yeah. through that door. Getting bottled up in the doorway is one of the worst possible things you can do. That's called the fatal funnel. The more time you spend there, the likely you are to get hit. Okay. So you've got to get through that okay. doorway. Ne kadar kibarca sıkıyor. Scenario over. If it's not safe, let him hang. That's a pretty tough shot. Yeah. So I would say that that was a good job. Okay. But you didn't check the hard corner, and then Stephanie cleared her barricade for you. As you're walking past there, you looked to make sure that it was clear, which is a normal human thing to do. Okay. Except for when you're in a team environment, that's where the trust issue comes in. When she tells you that is 100% clear environment that's wow. where the trust issue comes in when she tells you that is 100% team environment that's wow. where the trust issue comes in when she tells you that is 100% clear you do not look over there okay you just walk right past it like it wasn't even there okay all right let me just say call of duty in real life is so hard <laughs> we're gonna roll right into some night vision so all you want to do is you're gonna hold that down until it turns on Good? Yeah, All right. it's like uh, a ghost hunting show. I know, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's in play are barricades and then paper targets, paper targets only. Shoot until the target goes down. Let's go ahead and put your nods down. Turn them on. House is hot. Scenario over, put them on site, let them hang. After night vision, the instructors wanted to introduce a concussive explosive device known as a flashbang into the next scenario. But first, they wanted me to experience the blast firsthand. Questions? 
No. All right, we are live in the scenario. Get in there, get in there. Hands up, hands up, hands up! And end scenario. Wait. Had that suspect been in the deep right side, Phil's dead. I know that the flashbangs scare you, but you've got to get in there. Okay. You've got to be his two into that okay. room, or else you're doing him a disservice, and frankly, you're doing the hostage a disservice. And once that trust falls apart, the entire thing falls apart okay. from there. Does that make sense? Absolutely. For Michelle's final challenge today, we're at Strategic Operations, which is owned and operated by Mr. Stu Siegel. This is a movie set, and you know, in movies, they Oh, film set. Try to make things realistic, so in training it's the same way. So we're going to have real life dispatcher, our air support unit helping us out, other SWAT operators with her, everything that we would have in a real scenario. All right, we are live in the scenario. Yeah, check the scenario. Check the scenario. Shots fired. Shots fired. Trevor, shots fired. Forty-seven oh five, Rock and Road. Three fifteen, King. Show us in route to code twelve. Three twenty-one, John. I'm shot in the leg. I think it's broken. I can't walk. Three twenty-one, John. Temper covers the route. Yeah, when we see the suspect, it looks like he's elevated in a third story. Uh, he's only about 60 feet away from the officer who's still taking cover. So the officer is pinned down by an elevated suspect. Let's move, let's move. Cover my right, Michelle, cover my right. Suspect's on the third floor. It looks like he has a view in all directions. Move south toward that white Connex box with the doors on it. 15, okay, Michelle, I'm gonna move forward to this next piece of cover right now. Can you cover me? Moving. Go. Cover me, Michelle. Cover me so I can move. Over here. Okay, yeah, Baksana. Bak. Cover me so I can move. Bak. Gözleri görüyorsunuz arkadaşlar. Gözler e, optiğe bakmıyor zaten. Adama bakıyor. Yani gözler hedefine bakıyor. Baksana. Optikten bakmıyor. Sadece hedefine bakıyor. Over here. Tabii ya, yani bu kız YouTube'cu yani ondan beklemiyorum da öyle şeyler. Sadece bir gösterim. Farkına var. Like Coming up. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. I got shot in the leg. Right here. Biz yapıyoruz. Get that tourniquet on and pull him back. The right leg, right leg. The suspect is on the second floor now. He's moved down to the second floor of that tall structure. Oh, Michelle, how's that tourniquet yeah. looking? Good. And now we're going to move him back to a position to cover. The tourniquet Bayağı is going to apply. We're moving him back to a position for cover. We need you to cover us so we can move back and do the extraction. Got it. Okay, Michelle, ready? Three, two, one, move. Come on, we got to go, we got to go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, get a good grip, get a good grip. We're out in the opening. Come on, let's go. Push it back right here. Right here, tuck him into this wall. Right here, right here. 315 King, we're going to move across the alley right here. Our office is in place for position. So we're going to do a two officer carry. We're going to be faster this way, okay? We need you to help us, we need you to okay. hobble. Let's go. Moving! Come on, Michelle, let's go! Moving, moving! Come on, Michelle! Come on, Michelle. Left, go left, go left. Almost there, guys, almost there! Come on. To the right, to the right. By the patrol car, right here, right here. Okay. Can we go back? They're setting up containment. We need you to come with me and support one of our snipers in okay. position right now. What floor? We're going up uh, to the fifth floor. Our target building is going to be the three story at the end of the road with the camo roof. Do you see it? Yeah, I do. If you can key up the mic and uh, check in, just let them know that we have a sniper in position up here. Sniper one will be Kare and Gas Tiger. We are set up 50 yards off the one two corner of the target <laughs> on the fifth floor of the tower. Our entire job is to stay here and gather intelligence for the team that is going to end up moving up on him. Sniper one, he just threw something out the window. Why not take a shot now? Well, right now he's not posing a threat to anybody. He's just a lone barricaded suspect. Even though he already shot someone? 
Yes. Suspect surrender and comes out to our position. Aynı fikirde değildim şahsen. Direkt indirmelilerdi. Chris, come down the stairs. Gotta yell louder. Chris, come down the stairs. Put your hands behind your head. Slowly walk back towards my voice. Keep walking. You're doing fine. Neyse bu kadar. Elif'i yakaladılar. Bence güzel video yani. Bayağı emek verilmiş bir video yani.